Welcome to the Babayara Sports Stadium in Kumase. It's the finals of the MTN FA Cup for season 2021 and 2022. It's between the defending champions, Accra Hatsabok and Bechem United, who are one-time champions of this competition. The Phobians also saw their Premier League title taken away from them by their bitter rivals at Santiago Toko. The only target for them this season in terms of silverware is the FA Cup and they come up against a team who have been very impressive in the just ended Ghana Premier League. Welcome again if you just joined us. We are live on Star Times at the part channel 247 is our coverage of the MTN FA Cup final. My name is Nana Dakwa Jesse together with Philip Sitch of our stream. We are your commentators. From the Kumasi Sports Stadium, that's the lineup paraded by the Phobians at Crowd Savok. A couple of changes to the team that lost 4-1 to RT in the last Premier League game. Last week, Obin Jr. drops to the bench. Suleiman Tari's place is also taken by Benjamin York. Denchi plays instead of Abu Shao. And then there's also a place for the man who got 10 goals across all competitions before last week, Daniel Free Barney leading the attack for them. Yeah, it's a strange one, really, because Denchi gets the start ahead of Montari, the experienced campaigner, and Denchi is not accustomed to the midfield where we've seen him being used in that space some some of the games but this is a big one no changes to the Bechem United team that drew one with Brickham Chelsea on the last day of the Ghana Premier League club top scorer Gaston Okra leads the attack together with Emmanuel Avonio with a central defensive pair of Agbesi and Oseko for in there for the Hunters yeah it's actually a 3-5-2 and as Coach Mingo Castle always says, it is not a rigid system. They are, they've got the fluidity to be able to tweak it depending upon the behavior of the opponent. But on paper, that is how they start. They go with three across the back. We've got three midfielders, but the wing backs are crucial to how the midfielders play. And the front two would also be very important. Abdul Latif Adare is our center man for this afternoon's game here. Big one. Here we go. Hatsabok kicks off. Here is Glasson Awako. Corner to be taken by Paul Quaid Jr. Swings one in. Cleared by Denchi. Back to Quaid Jr. Ayi makes a mistake and he makes a man's voice mistake by Dina. That is a first off, it's a poor clearance by York and Sabucha as well. Poor contact from him. Ayi should be doing a lot better with that. He doesn't even jump. It's Paul Quaid Jr. But here is Aqua for United. Good run from the left. To Wing back now, here is Avonio. Okra is calling, Avonio hangs on. It is still Avonio, goes for the power drive and it's not beating Ayi. That's the earlier incident where Avonio is cutting in and the caliber man quite is not fully committed to the challenge. The ball goes past him too easily. Aaron Acel and Nabila trying to look for Dodu but it's Caleb Amankwa who steps up and finds Siraj. Siraj with a good pass to Daniel Barnier. Barnier misses. Who stepped up to win the ball and send it to Surya. The, the run from Bani is good. Over the shoulder of his man. He's not even aware of where Bani is. The ball into him from Surya is intelligent as well. Bani at that time just doesn't know. It's Avonio for Bechim United. He turns around Mohamed Al Hassan and Okra skips past Caleb Amankwa. Good play from Okra. Sends it across. Here is Paul Quay Jr. Quay Jr. Good sign from Richmond Ayi. And it's a power drive that is set the game by the Fabian keeper from Clinton. And yeah, that's the incident then that Augustin Okra is picking the pass on the edge of the box. That's a really good ball to find this man. And you know, he checks and drops his shoulder, goes past. And the effort is powerful, but it's round down the middle where Ayi can apply the save. It's quite a decent save because he puts it away from danger. It's why Clinton do with your Costa now. Siraj for hard to walk. Goes past Chene, finds Daniel Free Barnier. Here is Barnier. Good tackle from Acel. So that's the incident again. I think Siraj's first take on the boy is brilliant in the pass. Bunny running in behind this man and the pass comes through. Yeah, I think that's a brilliant tackle. I really think it is. Bunny might have just hesitated. A little Aqua from the wall. Awaku swings in the ball. Bunny heads it. It's not beating Idrisu. Yeah, caught it. into the near side. I think it was by his own man, Isel, who got the ball. I think it's in a cross, it goes to Abdullah Idrisu. 
trying to get to Augustine Okra, who goes past Caleb Amankwa. Here is Okra, cuts in, Okra, Okra! Big boot over the top. Caleb Amankwa makes a mess out of the first effort and trying to stop it from getting Okra. And Okra, you know he's going to check onto his left, you just don't know what... Work from Chene, now Annabella to Quay Jr. Quay fouled by Awako, chest up. Yeah. Okay, Junior as well, he's looking for them. He would have rather taken the foul. Sammy's not even whistled at all. A cycle four brings down Siraj, free kick. Good ball to find Benjamin York. It is York. York completely out of ideas, gives the ball away. Latif Annabella finds Augustine Okra. Okra on his right foot. Ayi puts it down in the Savonio. Who put Pachemi right to the head? The Hunters are up by one goal to nil with a minute to 45 minutes of half-time whistle. It is Pachemi United who have jumped into the league courtesy Emmanuel Avonio. Just fill the place. Just here at the place. They've got their fans. Up and oh, okay from Hunter Folks on poor decisions in the other end of the pitch. Benjamin York giving that ball away, but what about that for counter attacking football? And what about that for the skill and ability of Anabila? It's actually looking to pick up Venor, but Okra has different ideas. Lovely tax set himself. He are thinking as the effort arrives, Ayi should be doing a lot better with it. Ayi doesn't parry it away from danger, but parries it right into the path of Avenor, who has time and space to take one touch. Here is Awaku. Now Inkum. Awaku is drifting on his right, but he stays on and sends a cross in the middle. Barnier goes down in the box. And a... referee Abdari looks on. Awaku's ball is flicked. Big shouts for a penalty here for Hard to Fook. Inkum looking for the right option. Awaku takes one defender away and Barnier takes the touch. Back to Inkum. Inkum appeals for a handball against Acel. It's Awaku now. Good player from Awaku goes down from the challenge of Aqua. Pitch time. Samuel Inkum goes low. He finds Barnier. Back to Inkum. Inkum whips in across. It's Calabar Makwa on the volley. An amazing finish. This is classic. What a beauty. Oh, goodness me. Born and bred in Kumasi. And he scored a beautiful goal in his hometown draft. Caleb Amankwa, he puts the Phobians back into the game. It's 1-1. One, one. It's been breathtaking. The, the way the way the free kick is good, Banier replied to Inkum and Inkum's whip. It's a cutback. Oh, that's a special skill from the centre back to arrive on the ball with perfection. Just making sure that it's arriving at the right time and catching the ball with the venom that it deserves. Marcy Connors, babies. Later joined West Africa Football Academy, then to Adriana Stars, then to the capital to play for Hearts of Oak. He comes to Kumasi for an empty. One was a scoreline from the first half, and Adari whistles to get us going for second half action. Good ball from Dinchi. York swings it to Suraj. Kosa! Straight to Idrisi. Yes, I guess the shot away, but as you really pick those words, it's straight to Idrisu. Mr. Riley is teeing it up for him. I think it maybe he could have scored it. Had to because of his physicality and the presence that he offers. Very different player from who York is. And there he goes with a pass to Awaku, who sends a crossing out the Fabians. And up by two goals to one. Daniel, a free year. Banya, the bad day boy, has a goal in the finals of the MTN FA Cup. He turned 21 years today, and Daniel Banya has put the Phobians in the lead. Oh, the Phobians are back. Their title defense is on course. Hatsabok up by 2 1. And it's bouncing in here. The place is bouncing, absolutely bouncing. What a way to celebrate your birthday. What a way to. Your team in the lead had to fuck from one goal down. The build up is from the back. 
course are close long, but we spoke about the physicality of, of being genius. And with his chest, cushions the ball into the path of Awaku. Bani is run again, intelligent, into the near side. And Awaku is not crossing it. He's actually passing it into Bani. And Bani opens himself up and just guys the ball into the back of the net. It's a world-class finish. Now we're guesting Okra. Robert Adesoa with a timely, timely tackle. Well, a test of if he's sharp and he's fit and if he's got the pace. But as Okra just gone and done. But as Okra just gone and done there. But well, that's the incident as he takes the, makes the tackle. He, the assistant referee doesn't look at him. Look at what he does here. Yeah. With all the experience he's got. Okra, no. the referee it's, the card is coming it's out. A, it's a red card. He deserves it. Now. To swing one into the box where you're trying to be clever or cute. And that goes down from the challenge of Mohamed Al Hassan. Yeah, I think, I think oh, boy, when the manager wins. Bing Jr. onto the part of a free of Barney at the bed there, boy. Goes past Agbesima. He's trying to. Time now. Yes. Big one final chance. Clinton Dodu's corner. And rises and doesn't get. Anything on the ball is Abdul Karim. Abdul Karim swings the ball in a circle, first header, and it goes over for a goal kick. Ayi was completely beat. It's down. Ayi is lucky as well. The ball is into the fast stick that I think is too deep. But they recycle the ball back. And Ayi, if he's going to step off his line, he has to be sure he's arriving and reaching it. He's not reaching the bluff. Adari whistles and had the book. Hadri took the book. Have reclaimed the MTN FA Cup the one last season. They've done it courtesy. The winning goal from the birthday boy, Daniel. Efriye Barnier. The hunters hunted first. They scored the opening goal through Emmanuel Avonio. Caleb Amakwa equalized with a spectacular volley. And Klas Nawaku with a perfect assist for a clinical finish from Daniel Efriye Barnier. Full time. Hatsabok 2, Chemin Item 1.